Hi, I'm James, Developer Evangelist at Dynamic PDF. Today we explore combining multiple PDF documents into a single combined PDF document using Dynamic PDF Merger. Dynamic PDF Merger is provided as part of the Dynamic PDF Core Suite and combines the Merger, Generator, and Report Writer products into a powerful combined product. Dynamic PDF Merger includes capabilities such as merging PDFs, creating and filling out forms, appending, adding watermarks to PDF forms, and much, much more. In this tutorial, we show just how easy it is to merge three PDF documents into a single PDF document. If in another tutorial you already created the project examples-dynamicpdf-core, then open it. Otherwise, start Visual Studio and let's create a new project. Create a new c .net core project. Console app, .NET Core, C Sharp. Next, name the project examples-dynamicpdf-core. Add the NuGet package. Search for it, CETE dot dynamic PDF, and there it is, CETE dynamic PDF dot course suite dot net. Select it, install. Okay, I accept. Now remove the console dot write line statement. Add console dot read key. And we do that just so the console window doesn't close automatically when we run the application. Let's create a utility class that simplifies our project by adding code that makes resolving project paths easier. From Solutions Explorer, create a new class named Util. Add class class name it Util and add it. Add a method named getPath with filePath as a property. We use this utility class to simplify the remaining code in this tutorial. Now download the PDF resources used in this tutorial. This file is a zip file containing all the example PDF documents we will use. Download the files at http dynamicpdf.com forward slash examples forward slash resources dot zip. Extract the files. Open them. Find PDFs. Copy it. Now let's return to Visual Studio. Create a new folder named Resources. So now we have Resources, PDFs, and there's our example PDF files. Create a new class named Combine PDFs. Add the using statement for merger. Create a new method named combine PDF. Add a new merge document class instance and add the PDF named document A to the constructor. As you might guess from the class name, we use the merge document class to merge and append PDF documents. Add the append method to the merge document and pass document B as a parameter. Add the append method to merge document again and pass document C PDF. But this time, we're specifying that we're only going to merge two pages of the document beginning at page one. Add the draw method to merge document and specify the output document. Now, before executing the method, let's open all three PDF documents. First, open document A. 
Note this document has two pages. Now open document B. Note this document has three pages. Now open document C. Note that document C has four pages. So from our code, what we expect is a seven page document, two from document A, three from document B, but because we only use the first two pages from document C, we only expect two of document C's three pages. Create a new method named run and add the method call to the run method. Return to program and add our newly created method to the main method. You might have a method from another tutorial here. If you do, just, just comment it out. Run the program. Tap any key to close the console window. And in output, notice there's a combined PDFs.pdf. Open it. And we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven page document. We have two from document A three from document B, and two from document C, just as we expected. Now let's make our example a little more complex by specifying merge options before appending to a PDF document. Create a new method named combine PDF with options. Create a merge options by setting merge options as append. Set the merge options document properties to false. What this will do is exclude any property information from appearing. Create a merge document instance and in the constructor specify the path to the PDF and the merge options as parameters. Append another document to the merge document and pass both the file path and the merge options as parameters. Now we're merging a document B to document A. Let's look at both of these documents for a minute and see what we got here. So in document A, if we go to file, properties, there you go. It says document A and it has software name. If we go to document B, we see the same properties. Now let's add combine PDF with options to our run method. Return to program. Notice that earlier we used combine PDFs dot combine PDF in a single method call. We should change that. Let's change it to run. Run the program. Press any key to close the console window. Okay, here's combine PDF with options. Open it. Let's go to properties. There we go. There's no properties in our document. As we saw in this tutorial, merging PDFs using dynamic PDF is intuitive and easy, but don't let its simplicity fool you. The merge document class also supports many more advanced features. Refer to the documentation on merge document for more information. Also refer to the merge options for the options available to you when merging documents. You can download the complete source code for this project from our dynamic PDF GitHub site at github.com. Refer to our website for more information on licensing dynamic PDF course suite. This is ideal for anyone who needs to create PDFs as well as work with existing PDFs in their applications. With a free evaluation edition to try and with flexible and royalty-free licensing options, why not start using Dynamic PDF Core Suite today? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm James reminding you, when you think PDF, think Dynamic PDF. Until next time.